Hey, coming to you with another vlog again. This is vlog number four, day four of my 30 days of vlogging. And I wanted to make sure that I follow through. Why is my computer making noises right now? I'm back. And in this vlog, I'm going to talk about a question that I was asked in the comments about the differences between the massive VST plugin from Native Instruments and also uh, the Korg M1 plugin. Now, you know, these two plugins are basically two different schools of thought. You've got the the massive plugin, and that plugin is more or less a three oscillator plugin, wavetable, very simple wavetables. Um, you know, th kind of some signal rounding, and the Korg M1 plugin does have the same thing too as well. However, you know, the Korg M1 is kind of based off of a real uh, keyboard. It was based off a keyboard that was out in the early 90s that helped drive the whole house scene and stuff like that. And it was just a really cool um, keyboard. I mean, y'all have seen me do the Crystal Waters remake and I used that plugin. And a tip is this. You know, people are asking me, how did you get that organ sound to sound like just like the album? Well, it's very simple because I was looking for the sound myself and I was going through forums on the internet and I was like, okay, organ 2, patch organ 2. So I was like that patch. I was like, okay, that sounds in the ballpark, but not quite there. Till I went, reached under the hood in the plugin and saw that there are some effects applied to the original patch. Once I removed those patching and made it dry, it sounded just like the record, which is great. And, um, you know, which goes back to how can you do the same thing? Because, see, the Korg M1 is more of a wavetable based sampler plugin. It has a bunch of complex waves and, and you know, and... and I could say that it sounds a little dated because when you play something like that, you, you're hearing sounds that's been on the radio for a while now. I mean, this keyboard has came out in the, the 90s, so it's been around for a while. So when you play that and you start to design sounds on that, it's going to sound more like the keyboard. Like, for instance, if I play this keyboard behind me in a Phantom and I try to play the piano sounds like there, it's going to sound like a Phantom. And... Um, you won't get quite that same experience with Massive. Massive is a great plug-in. It's, 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 it's lightweight, but it can be heavy too as well. And it's more based on more of an analog synthesizer sound design. And uh, definitely the envelopes, in my opinion, are more complicated. So you can do a, little, a lot more crazy macros and automation and stuff like that. Uh, time LFOs that you can't quite get in the Korg M1. However, the wavetables in there are a lot more simpler to me. Um, but in order to make more complex waveforms, you got to do things like feedback loops and frequency modulation and all that other stuff, which I don't believe the Core Game 1 has in this synthesizer as well. So, you know, while it's easier to create synthesizer sounds on Massive, you know, cranking out a patch on the Core Game 1, you can have a piano patch and it sounds more like a piano. You can get to more realistic sounds faster with a Korg M1, even though the wavetable is a little bit limited. And it does have simple waveforms on there too, which may sound a little colder, but when you want to make more synthesizer, more sound design stuff, more of the traditional synthesizer sounds, I believe the Korg M1 Massive, not the Korg, what I'm saying Korg M1 Massive for, the Native Instruments Massive plugin is a great tool for that. So. That, I hope that answers some questions, and uh, we're going to talk about a bunch more things. I'm telling you, I'm just throwing a rule book off, and I love to have a conversation with you guys and just talk about whatever, and I want to get better at speaking and vlogging and just having fun, and you know, this month, I just want to let go. So much going on. I worked all day. I mean, I really <laughs> work all day, and uh, I was almost like, man, I'm too tired to do a vlog, but I said I wanted to do it, so even though it's kind of hard for me to get my personal friends to know about them other than having to hey guys i made a video hey guys um i just do it at least i'll do it for me you know it's something I, I i can enjoy but you know but hopefully somebody out there who sees this video uh maybe gives me a suggestion on what to talk about because i'm doing a vlog every day for the month of april and i'm gonna document the life of a aspiring music producer who is long overdue for success all right, I'm out of here. Peace.